First at 10 tonight, multiple homes in the 200 block of East Railroad Street in Nesquahoning were severely damaged after a fire tore through their homes just before 7 a.m. Good evening, I'm Raylan Lee. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules was at the scene of the fire and tells us more. The fire here along East Railroad Street began at one home but quickly began to spread to another. Upon fire crew's arrival, they began checking the residents to ensure everyone made it out safely as three homes were damaged by the flames. Uh, we had reports that there were two people trapped in the home. Uh, fortunately, they were able to get out. Uh, they did sustain some type of injury and they were treated at the scene by the Lehighton paramedics and transported to a local hospital. While the people in the home were able to make it out of the house, some pets inside of the home weren't as lucky. One dog trapped inside of the home made a miraculous escape and ran out onto the roof from the second floor window of the home as the blaze continued. Firemen uh, immediately went into rescue mode and were able to secure the dog, uh, bring it down the Stokes basket down uh, to the ground where the paramedics uh, from Lee Heighton, as well as the animal cart team from Carbon County assisted uh, in uh, the recovery of the animal. Unfortunately, two other dogs in the home were found dead. Danielle, a neighbor I spoke with who wanted to remain off camera, has lived in the neighborhood for around a year and a half and says that recent fires in the area have been quite a scare to her and other residents. And this is like, I think the third or fourth fire now that there was one over there by Turkey Hill um, and now this one and they're they're all pretty devastating. I'm from the country area, so these houses being so close and everything makes me kind of paranoid a bit. The cause of the fire has not yet been determined, but it is now being investigated by the state police fire marshal. Reporting from Nesquahoning in Carbon County, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first to 10. VFW Post 8008 are now accepting clothing donations for victims of that fire. For more information, visit this story on our website at fox56.com.